Hi, this is Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to feature 20 of the best products that I have reviewed in this year, 2020. First up is the Martin D35, which I bought. Uh, it came to me uh, from City Music and uh, they have kindly lent it to me to, to review it and I just fell head over heels with it the moment I started playing on it. And mind you, the, uh, the unit that I was playing on reviewing it was a showroom model. But uh, it played and sounds so well that I decided to keep it. And it's with me ever since. The guitar features bell-like qualities, ease of play, and uh, sometimes you just feel like this guitar just belongs to you. And of course the guitar costs quite a bit, but I decided to take a plunge and uh, uh, to procure it and I have no regrets. And it's been a staple for most of my recordings and session work. Next up would be the Fender MTG LA. Now I'm pretty impressed with uh, two of the pedals that came from Fender. One of it is the Compoundulus and the other one is this MTG LA. I was pretty impressed because it features two um, or more or less two pedals in one which is the Distortion as well as the uh, Booster and it features uh, a real tube in the pedal itself. And I, I kind of like the tone a lot because it was really creamy, really usable, or uh, even when uh, you know you, I have all, uh, I have a whole lot of uh, distortion pedals to play around with in my Helix Native, but again, nothing beats the real pedal. And this one comes really, really useful if I were to plug it straight to an amp. So all in all, a great pedal, and I thoroughly enjoy reviewing it. Next up is an acoustic guitar from Hardy Bented, and this is a CLD Forty One SE. Um, I saw the guitar uh, on Thomas' website and. Well, they sent it to me for review. I requested for it, they sent it to me for review, and I was totally impressed with that guitar. At its price range, you know, it's a great guitar. Uh, featuring walnut, you know, um, back and side, as well as the Seeker Spruce Top. Great guitar for its price range. Easy to play, sound great. You know, I'm sure it would sound better through the years. Number four is something that was burned out of necessity because of the COVID pandemic. Um, this is the Mackie USB EM, or uh, USB microphone. Um, I actually procured this uh, uh, a microphone from City Music, uh, and it was mostly for live streaming because that's, that's my primary uh, aim, and it served its purpose thoroughly, you know, excellently, you know, and uh, I can even record like you know uh, guitars or, or, or my vocal with it as as the singular mic, you know, it picks up everything really well. It has a built-in um, volume control, a gain control, you know, and it's a great mic, you know, and it's not terribly expensive. It's it's very affordable, and I think it's a great. I think this whole COVID nineteen situation has forced many uh, to live stream or to you know have a USB mic in conjunction with the Zoom to have meetings and stuff like that. Great mic, great product. Number five would be from Line Six, and this will be the Pot Go Multi Effects pedal. Now I've been always been a fan of uh, Line Six products, and I myself use. Uh, the Line 6 Helix uh, multi effects board. Now, the Pot Go is a stripped down version of it, and I am so um, impressed by the, by the fact that you know it doesn't cost a lot, but yet it delivers almost like 70% or you know, close to 80% of what the Helix can, um, can deliver. Well, not, in, not in terms of DSP power or, or you know, uh, effects and stuff like that, but close enough because on a live gig, it comes as close as, as, as it can, you know, at that price range, and it's light, it's, it's not terribly heavy. Great uh, multi effects board for the working musician, yeah. Number six would be a guitar from GNL. This will be the Fulton Deluxe uh, Legacy. Great guitar uh, with its Anico uh, pickups, and you know, it, it, it sounds just like a strat. It you know, plays really well because the GNL are, are uh, fret and, and neck is a joy to play and the way it's um, the finish and everything is, is you know you just it just feels good in your hands and <clears throat> especially the Nico pickups you know and that, that that guitar sings really really well number seven will be from uh, LTD and this will be the Viper uh, 300M 
is it like a SG model, which I in the end I bought it because I was so impressed with this guitar. This guitar has two EMG <clears throat> and um, great guitar. You know, even though it's made and uh, manufactured in Indonesia, it plays really well. The, it has jumbo frets, you know, 24 frets. What more can you ask? You know, and it, it sounds good, it feels good, <clears throat> and I bought it and I have no regrets. Number eight would be uh, the Hitway HN Bar Chord Acoustic Guitar. Now this guitar is pretty interesting because this was maybe the second time I played on a Hitway <coughs> guitar and it, it, it sounded really nice. It, it just sings. Easy to play, action was good. Yeah, and the fact that it's made in Japan, you know, the workmanship is impeccable. And that was one of the nicest sounding um, um, acoustic guitar that I played uh, for this year. Number nine would be something from my dear uh, friend Wayne. Um, he made a, a pair of <clears throat> of a PAF 1957-60s uh, re reproduction uh, repro humbuckers uh, for my Les Paul Classic, and it it fits the guitar perfectly. And I'm so happy because at long last this guitar has a pickup with the nickel cover and it just sounds great you know it's not overly uh, uh, overpower uh, overpowering because the original um, PEFs that was in my classic in my Les Paul classic was a bit too uh, yeah the output is a bit too high and I just wanted something more tame and Wayne did it and uh, he, he he excelled in 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 details and stuff like that and he was so good at it and yeah the pickups really sang it's still singing i'm still having it in my guitar yeah no regrets i want to thank wayne for that number 10 would be the martin d18 modern deluxe um this well for the last two years i've been playing a lot of martin guitars and there are a couple of guitars that stood out in my mind well well obviously the one that i bought is the d35 the street master the the d triple two and then um and then this one this this d18 modern deluxe it's a one of a kind guitar uh because of the neck you know the asymmetrical or uh, slightly asymmetrical uh, shape of it and just the sound you know um i never i in fact i had never uh play a lot on the d18 because i you know most of the guitars are like with the rosewood backs uh, side and backs and the D18 of course is with the mahogany and it's just so nice it's just so full has a, a slight bomb in the mid-range and it just sings and that guitar was a joy to play and to listen to next up 11 will be the Vega Tram um I love the Vega Tram ever since I saw videos of it and the way it's been installed you know not by a luthier but by the owner itself it's a it's a it's a no fuss no must installation really easy to do you can do it yourself but the killer part is that it works it works perfectly and Vega Tram has great people working for them you know and I, I I'm so glad that they were so willing to send me a couple of units for uh, for review and I had it on my uh, from the Japan 50s uh, traditional Stratocaster as well as my Harley Benton um, Fusion HHT. Is it HHT? Yeah, correct. And I love them. I, I love this tremolo system so much that I swear about it. You know, it, it, it's, it's so easy to install and it's, and it's so playable. Great tremolo system. You know, if you're looking for a tremolo system, that's the one to get. Next up will be the Maestro Traditional OOIRAH. Uh, it's a great guitar. Um, I guess that this will be the first or second guitar that I played uh, that comes from Maestro. And Maestro, of course, is a Singapore-based company. And Hosen is 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 the CEO, and he's a nice fella. You know, he 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 kind of like design all these guitars himself, and and fine tune it and voice it himself. And these guitars are a joy to play, very responsive and really nice. So that was one, of the, also another one of the uh, nicest, um, nicer uh, acoustic guitars that I played for year 2020. For number 13, it will be the Kemper Profiler Stage. Um, I want to thank uh, Davis Guitar, uh, especially Janet, for uh, letting me review that that unit. It was a it was a, it was an eye opener because I'm always been a a Helix uh, user, and this was the first time that I've uh, have a chance to use a Kemper, and I was impressed. Uh, okay, the learning curve is uh, is very different. You know, I'm so used to the way uh, Helix work, 
but it wasn't a big problem for me. I, I could easily get a rig going uh, uh, relatively fast. But I was really impressed with the uh, the amps, you know, the amps profiling. Uh, it, it's really uh, accurate. Yeah. The only thing I, I I find that is lacking, probably lacking, is on the effects. You know, and there's not much effects as compared to the Helix. But hey, man, if you're a purist and if you're if you're looking for that, for a multi floorboard, you know, multi effects floorboard to nail the amp sound, the Campo is something to look at. For number fourteen will be a Day TS mic. 2S, um, great shotgun mic. I want to thank Jing Fu from DAT uh, Asia, uh, who sent me this microphone for review. And the fact is, I'm actually speaking all this and, and doing my dialogue with the S mic itself. And it's a great multi-purpose mic. I mean, I have used it to record guitars, and I use it primarily for for voiceover for dialogue like this. And it works really well. It, it's really clear, you know, and and there's there's no distortion to be heard of. Um, it's easily, um, it's light enough to, to, to be uh, put on a, a boom stand, you know, with no fuss, no mess. Great mic. Number 15 will be the Nuex MG300. Uh, Nuex is a great, uh, one great company because they reached out to me and uh, asked me to review uh, a couple of their products. And one of them was the Nuex uh, MG300, which I think is one of the best sounding mini well, in a, you know, uh, uh, a small form uh, multi-effects board that I've reviewed this year. And the amp modeling, the effects, you know, the way it works, it, it's a great product to play with. And I, I believe this product is ideal for beginners or even for a gigging musician because it's easy to carry, it's, it's light enough. And they have drum loops in it, they have loops in it, you know, it's a great, it's a great product. And I, I, I was really impressed with it. Number 16 would be the end year uh, T10 OM which I bought. Uh, I fell in love with the guitar straight off uh, when I'm reviewing it and I just said to myself, I gotta get this. And I wanna thank Jeanette again from Davis uh, Guitar for uh, sending me that guitar. And uh, what's not to like? I mean, he has uh, Aero Beck's Anthem in it, you know, great playability, great neck, Adrian Dex Bruce Top. And I just finished a, a, a rehearsal yesterday and I, I used it for the rehearsal and it was it was it was great. It was great. It's a great guitar to play. Uh, no fatigue in it, you know, and it sounds great. Number seventeen will be the Schecter Nick Johnson SSS in Orange Burst. You know, uh, I I, I I played the other one which is the SSH uh, in green. And I was pretty like impressed with that guitar by itself. But the SSS is another guitar uh, that um I I I am so excited, uh, probably because of the static, because I'm always a sucker for orange. But it's a sound. It's it's it sounds great. You know the pickups are, are, are voice uh, very differently from a traditional Strat. Um, and I believe it's voiced by Nick Johnson himself. And even though the guitar is made in Indonesia, it, the workmanship is impeccable, and the playability is so easy. You know, and it has, if I'm not mistaken, jumbo or or extra jumbo frets. And I'm a sucker for that and a roasted maple neck. And uh, if you're looking for a strat, you know, and you don't want to, you don't want to like, you know, uh, go for the traditional Fender. That's another guitar to look at. It's a great strat. That's it. It's a great strat. Number eighteen will be the Martin Authentic 1937 D18. Uh, as I've mentioned before, uh, the D18 has caught my ears and my heart. But this is the authentic one uh, from Martin itself, the 1937, which has no truss rod. But the way it's been uh, glued together, the way it's been, it's been put together, uh, I don't see any problem with, with, with the action. In fact, the action, you, you play great, you know, it's great action. Uh, but it's a sound, it's the sound of the whole guitar, it just sings. And this is another one of the best acoustic guitar that I've ever played this year. And it, you know, it's on par with the D18 Modern Deluxe, but it just sounds totally different from the Modern Deluxe D18. He has the character by itself. And yeah, what can I say? It's a great guitar. I also want to thank City Music for sending all these Martin guitars and GNL guitars, especially Ying Lo and, and Mike. Yeah, I want to thank them so much. Number 19 will be the Nuex Masumi Compressor and Booster. I reviewed the Origin Effects uh, Kali 76, which I really like. And I requested for this Masumi and I was impressed. You know, at its price range is where it's like, you know, it's about two hundred over dollars, yeah, sing and as compared to the original effects which is like, you know, five hundred eighty something, five hundred forty five. 
um, it does its work really well and um, kind of transparent because there are more things to be tweaked in the Kelly 76 but uh, for what it does the Matsumi does it really well and the fact that he has a booster uh, if you're set up with an amp that uh, that has a preamp section where you can kind of like um, drive it that's a great pedal with the compressor you can do anything that uh, well, more or less, what the uh, what the Cali services can do, you know, get real nice, sustained, clean sound, you know, and that's great. Like I said, uh, many times I'm a sucker for compressors and drives, so this is one unit that caught my eye. Yeah, great, great product for Nuex. And last but not least, number twenty is the Origin FX Cali Series Six Stack. Now, like I mentioned before, I, I, I've, t I've tested the uh, the Cali Series Six and was impressed with it, but the stack is like double whammy, you know double the goodness <laughs> two two uh 76 in one like yeah i, I guess like you know, probably you guys would know that the cali 76 is based on the uri 1176 compressors and uh, we use them extensively in the studio but to have that in the effects you know in effect if effects pedal is something that uh we can never think of back in the back in the days but it is the future now we are at the future and that's a great pedal and i, I love the way it responds i love the way it's really transparent uh, you don't lose a lot of tone with, with this effect and you can get really nice the, I mean I, 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 I mentioned the holy grail for me the holy grail of clean sustained sound clean lead sound which they call it as the clean overdrive which I'm I'm digging it you know and I'm trying to duplicate it in, <laughs> to tell you the truth I'm trying to duplicate it in my helix which I think I, I have accomplished more or less but it still sounds different from the Cali 76 stack the, the quality is 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 the difference is there, you know, if you're if you're a nit picker. <laughs> you know, some of us are pixel picker, but I'm I'm more uh, I'm listening more to the to the uh, the tone of the original guitar, whether it retains the tone of the original guitar. So this this effects uh, this uh, Kali Seven Six stack is one of the best uh, effects pedal that I've played this year so far. Yeah, I'm really loving it. So there you have it. These are the best 20 products that came through this room, which I revealed in the year 2020. And it's a strange year, 2020. It's like uh, 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 unfamiliar uh, territory, you know, uh, with the pandemic and the lockdown and the, you know, the restrictions and all that. You know, it, it forces people to do things that they would not otherwise do. And uh, like I've said before, you know, our Zoom meetings and, and, and live streaming. Now, making videos uh, like what I'm doing uh, for the past two, uh, two three years, it, it's a joy for me, you know, it, it's a passion for me. And you guys out there, you have supported me so far, and I really appreciate that. And the live stream really helped because, you know, I get to be in touch with you personally. I get to pray for some of you guys personally. Um, but the interaction between me and, and you guys were, were like invaluable to me. And these products that I've I mentioned, these 20 products were the highlights of this year, you know, and, and I really thoroughly enjoy uh, doing the reviews. And the number one highlight will be you guys, because uh, the friendship that was forged, you know, through this year was something that I, I cherish a lot. So again, I want to thank you guys for supporting me and your love. Your encouragement, the, the little things that you said, you know, and the, the, the things that, that, that cheer me up at times, you know. I also want to thank some of you guys who cracked me up uh, with your humor, <laughs> your weird humor, but nevertheless, humor. And yeah, it just brightens up my day. And I want to thank you guys. So, Happy New Year. Have a great New Year. Have a blessed New Year ahead. And I wish you all the best. And I pray that you will find uh, joy, peace, goodness, and protection. Um, for the coming new year, right? So take care, God bless, and I'll see you again. Ciao.